Okay, this is his defense against the clinch. He knows I'm gonna, about to give him the knee, so he's going to put his hand across me to block, defend against my knee. What I'm going to do is I'm going to track that same hand, and I'm going to grab him around the leg. And then with my head, I'm going to push him this way. So I grab the leg, I'm holding this hand at that point. And I grab the leg, and I bring him down for control. From the clinch, he blocked me, he doesn't want me to give him the knee. I grab that, I grab around his leg. As I grab around his leg, I'm going to bring my knee to the floor. And then push him over and push him on a cross body position. Again, I want to knee him. And he's not allowing me to knee him. So with this hand and the far hand, like with this hand, I'm going to grab onto to this one. So I grab him, and I reach around that leg. As I reach around that leg, with my head, I'm going to push him over. So I push him over, and I'm going to get a cross body control. That hand is under. I'm going to knee him, but he's not allowing me. I grab this, around the leg, and I push him over. I control. Okay. Come on. This next move is basically the same thing. I'm going under from a pummel, from a pummel position. He's going to block me because he knows I want to knee him. So what I'm going to do is the exact same thing. I'm going to grab the arm. So I'm going to grab the arm that's crossing in front of me so he doesn't really get a chance to pull it out. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down. I'm going to take the leg, but I'm going to take it now with two hands in a monkey trick. So I can grab it. Palm, facing each other, in that manner. Grab it. And then I'm going to take him down and bring my knee down and I bring it right underneath my armpit. Now, a lot of times people do a leg lock. A lot of times people do a leg lock. Now, how they do the leg lock is that with the same hand under the same armpit, they go like this. But what happens is because it's much more thicker up here, you don't get that feeling of the bone against it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it on the other side. So that way, I can, I can apply all my bone against the back of the Achilles tendon. And I lock it up. I'm going to sit down, if I sit down, I cross my foot over him. So that way, all my weight is against his leg. He doesn't have a chance to kick me in the face, and he doesn't have a chance to pull his, his leg against me to pull, this, to pull his leg out. And I just push my hips in. Again, from here, I grab that arm. I'm going to walk in his leg, but then my monkey grip. And then I pull his leg through this, this direction. Bring my knee down, it's already underneath my armpit, but I'm going to switch hands. So that way I get good leverage on it and I put a bone on it. Not the same hand that I get that's underneath the, where his leg is underneath my armpit. I'm going to switch the opposite. It gets a lot tighter that way. I sit down, I cross my leg over, and I lay down on the leg. If I go this way, he got a chance to kick me in the face or push this out or whatever. So I lay down on that leg so that way he can't really use that leg and immobilize him that way. From this angle. So again, here, I reach down, I take that, I pull that from the barrier. Now it's already underneath my armpit. I switch it. This one goes under. Like right. All I do is sit down, I throw my leg over, and I roll against that same leg. So I have a lot of pressure. I watch my hips. I just push my hips in. And I'm pulling. He feels it a lot more. Again, because this part of my arm is too medium. He doesn't feel the crunch of the bone against the back of the Achilles tendon. So that's why I switch it on the other side. Hi, I'm Nigel Schandenberg, founder of the Tiger Jiu-Jitsu Self-Defense System. All these techniques and stuff like this is also on our website. You can check out our website at www.taijujitsu.com. And I'd like to thank you too for having the opportunity to give us this moment to show all the techniques that we actually can show based on Tiger Jiu-Jitsu.